Okay, so Apple has now made it clear and it is finally clear to us what Apple plans to do moving forward with the releases of iOS 18 beta. So today Apple released iOS 18 beta 3.5 or a re-release of iOS 18 beta 3. Now in this video, I'm going to explain what Apple plans to do and why this is happening. Why didn't Apple release iOS 18 beta 4 and the public beta? And now it makes a ton of sense and we'll get to some of the details here in just a few seconds. But I wanted to go over some details here in regards to iPadOS because iPadOS 18 beta 3.5 or re-release was released today as well. And macOS 15 beta 3.5 or re-release was released today as well. No watchOS, no tvOS updates, at least not yet as of the filming of this video. So again, iOS 18 beta 3.5 or re-release was made available today to registered developers. Let's go into settings here. Let's go into general, go into the about section and under iOS version, you see the latest build number right there it is. So let me explain the reasons why Apple is doing this. And in order to understand why Apple does this, we have to go back one year. So with iOS 17, Beta 3, Apple did the same thing. They released a re-release or a revised version of the third beta. And then the following day, they pushed out the first public beta for iOS 17. That happened last year. And it looks like Apple is following the same trend this year. So today on Monday, July the 15th, Apple re-released iOS 18 beta 3. And tomorrow on the 16th or later during the week, they'll make available the first public beta for public beta testers. Now, the reason they launch the re-release of iOS 18 beta 3 is in order to make those build numbers match. So beta 1 for public beta testers and the third beta for developers will have the same build number. That's why they launch this re-release or 3.5, I guess you can call it, update for the beta today. And we can expect the first public beta tomorrow. Again, the same thing happened last year. Now, now, in regards to new features and changes, this beta right here does not really contain any other changes other than the bill number. There's basically nothing else happening here. And I know a lot of you guys are hoping and looking forward to Apple Intelligence, a lot of the new series stuff, a lot of the Apple Intelligence stuff, Image Playground, a lot of the cool stuff that Apple announced will most likely become available with the fourth developer beta and the second public beta, which is going to be basically the same software with different names. Now, in terms of release dates, now that we have a clear indication what Apple is doing it looks like the first public beta will be available tomorrow on the 16th or throughout the week of the 16th here and the fourth developer beta alongside the second public beta will most likely happen the last week of july on the week of the 29th now apple could change their schedule at any time we'll keep you guys posted but as of right now the re-release of ios 18 beta 3 tomorrow expect the first public beta so the build numbers will match moving forward in about two weeks later apple releases the fourth developer beta alongside the second public beta with the new apple intelligent features for the first time and hopefully we'll finally see some of the apple intelligent stuff happening on our iphones i know a lot of you guys are excited and again apple did the same thing last year with ios 17 so it is clear to us finally what apple plans to do let me know what you think in those comments down below thank you for watching this quick one and i'll see you guys on the next one peace